Hello and welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. Well, I thought as a signal as I start all my tutorials with hello, welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. Now today I thought I thought I'd just say hello and welcome and thank you for watching and it's almost Christmas so I'm in quite a happy mood, etc. So yes, hello. Um I got an email from somebody, well more of a YouTube message, but anyway, it was a message and nevertheless she he or she, whoever it is, communicated to me saying, Hello, Dragon Pay Me. I've swapped from a, a PC to a Mac and I'm like, yeah. Um but and I was like, Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Um she or he is a photographer and they like to take pictures. Um let's say for example in the thousands. So she's got one hundred pictures in a folder and um she wants to he, why do I keep saying she? I don't know if it's a he or a she. This person um, wants to rename all the pictures to, uh, just to, to, so she, she, crikey. You know what, I'm going to hit myself. So this, right, I'll start again. I'll just make an example. I'm going to make a new folder here. New folder, I'm going to call it PME. Just for example, I'm going to take a screenshot of my desktop. Remember, I've got two screens, so we should get two pictures. Picture one and picture one second part. Put them in the folder and... Apple A, Apple Copy, Apple V, and I'm pasting a couple of times. So we get a couple of uh, pictures here, all just copies. Now pretend these are all different. So this one's a sunset, yeah. And this one's my mom, yeah. And this one is um, my granddad. And this one is the moon, right. And I've got all these pictures, but if you look at the names, picture one, copy it, picture one, open bracket, two, close bracket, copy it, uh, picture one, copy six, and they're just like, the names are stupid as, right? So, the the challenge that this person said to me was, how, how do I rename a group of photos? Because, I mean, naming all these can take, what, what, 10 minutes, or, well, not 10 minutes, but, you know, uh, Paul 1, and then if I move along to uh, Paul 2, this is going to take forever. Um, now, I don't know if you know, but the Mac has a program called the Automator, um, which I've stayed well, well, well away from um, because I think it looks a little bit confusing, but getting your teeth into it, it is, it, it helps here sometimes. And the Automator can be used to rename several files, uh, several folders, etc., or to change formats, etc. Um, play, play with it with yourself, don't forget to back up your files. It does tell you in the Automator, are you sure you want to do this because this may delete your file, etc. Um, so back up your files if you have Time Machine, no problem. Um, lol, minimize. Um, okay, so the task I'm going to do is rename all these folders here. Um, okay, so we've opened the Automator and you've got a, um, the, the Automator works in workflows. So basically you say one thing, it'll do it and then it'll go down to the next task, then the next task in a, a kind of workflow format. Um, so if you want to make your own or start with like a topic. So for example, if you're handling music and audio, use this one, um, photos, images, etc. Although in this one we are using photos and images, it's more of the finder action. So like the finder is the thing that uses is used to rename files. Like if we're changing the format, we would use photos and images, but we're just renaming files. So we'll start with files and folders. Select where you want to get them from, my Mac. If you notice, you can get them from iPhoto, the internet, etc. But um, files and folders, my Mac. And we're going to ask for the files and folders when the work workflow runs, just so we don't forget choose and we started our workflow already so choose a finder item start at the desktop and we're looking for files you can select if we're going to look for folders or files and folders so we'll just do files because we're only using files see right and we're going to allow multiple multiple selection to be able to select all of them at the same time okay so files and folders if you can you can see you can have all kinds of actions for the calendar contacts for mail for internet fonts and for your presentations etc but just to keep things simple because this is what how i know how to do it and also to help people because this is probably the task that i would do more often than others okay so what we're going to do we're going to select our files here in this workflow and then we're going to rename the finder items so we're going to rename the files and we're going to drag that into our thingamajiggy. Um, this action will change the names of the finder items passed into it. So this is the error I was talking about before. Um, you can add a backup. So like in here, we can add a backup. So like um, it will copy the files before they rename it so you don't lose any data. But I mean, that's just going to take more time and hardware space. 
hard drive space, etc. So we're going to use mix uh, sequential, meaning we're just going to make a completely new name because if you look, you can add a bit of text or change the case or add the time and date. But so, for example, this one will be Paul 1 and then the date on the end, Paul 2, the date on it. But we just want to rename them all something different. So we're going to go new name and I'm going to call it. PME in capitals and then after the name a number so PME1, PME2, PME3 separated by a dash so it's going to be PME-1 as in this example here um, etc. You can tick the box to make it two digits PME01 etc. But I'm, I'm going to leave that and your workflow is done. Voila! What do you do? You run it and it'll go through it. You're going to select your files. It's going to be in PME and we're going to select all these. You can click one and press Apple on the keyboard and A and then choose and your workflow has run. Um, you didn't hear because I've got the sound turned off, but it goes ping when it's done. And you see all the files have disappeared from here and copied down and be renamed. PME1, PME2, PME3, etc. should be in the list here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we know we've got 18 files and they've all been renamed to something sensible. Um, you can mess around in here, changing um, most relevant, most useful, etc. Um, and you can download workflows from the Mac website if you use this very often. But to be honest, this is the first time I've actually got the uh, workflow to be useful for me um, and hopefully useful for others uh, in doing whatever. I'd, I'm not sure what the record button does, but I'd like to give it a try sometime. Um, so I hope you've learned something. Um, hopefully you'll watch this and think, wow, what a lot of information in these thingamajigs here. Like there's a lot of different workflows that can be used and manipulated in a different way and you'll notice that you'll find there's a lot of errors and stuff so if you say I, I don't think I've got time to show you an example to be honest but if um, you put a workflow together and you'll you'll get an error you can drag this cancel you can drag this from the bottom see I just randomly brought it up for no reason but like it'll come up with an error thing and you can just drag it up so you can view all the errors that it's made and it'll hopefully help you to create a better a better workflow or you can just download the workflows that do work from the internet Apple Q, I don't want to save my workflow, I deleted in fact so don't save and that's it finished hopefully you've learned something, hopefully you won't be as scared as the automator as I was because I sure was scared of the automator, too many numbers that's what um, so yeah hopefully you've uh, learned something and that uh, this tutorial has been helpful no matter where you are, who you are, when you are, how you are, whatever. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something and I'll see you next time on a Dragon PME tutorial. You know, when I say at the end, and I'll see you next time on a Dragon PME tutorial, I got that from uh, Bert Monroy. I've copied him. Sorry, Bertie Bert. Um, he does Photoshop tutorials. I watch on um, Miro. Uh, anyway, Bert Monroy, he always says at the end, thank you very much for watching, blah, blah, blah. And also, that, so yeah. I copied him. I'm sorry. I'm not very innovative. Innovative. Um, I'm like Microsoft. I just copy things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on a Dragon PME tutorial.